piss off. Like, seriously. There we go. Oh, hey. Whoa, shit. I forgot about that, but... Oh, no, my... My, my power armor. You broke my power armor! Ooh. Maybe. Oh, good. There's a gas main there. Let's see what happens. Oh, look. There's a fire. Did that deal with it? Yes, it did. Sexy. Oh, God, but it did take out my other arm. Shit. Oh, well. Ah. Oh, shit. Ah! Jesus. Scared the shit out of me. I thought you were going to be a friend. Ah! Thanks. That was not worth it for that lunchbox. Apart from a small part of me that collects them. That went, yes, another one, another lunchbox for the lunchbox queen. Fucking hell, this goes on for miles. Steady. I can hear you rumbling around behind me. The sun is shining. I'm feeling very chill. I don't, I don't need, I don't need you. You. You being you. Hold up. We're just going to back out a minute, dear. There we go. You're welcome. But I will not falter. My robots will see to it that no further harm will come to the Commonwealth. I believe. Whatevs, mate. Just, just whatevs. Like, fuck's sake. Uh, okay, yep, let's go on this. I mean, nothing bad ever happened. Going on, this is really, bye. Really disconcerting. Please don't fall down and hurt yourself because Codsworth did that once and he was very displeased. Ada. Oh, Ada, bye. It's okay though, because you'll teleport over here, right? Right? <gasps> Ada. She's totally not going to come with... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me then. Hopefully this is one of the last doors, Ada, because, good God, as much as I'm enjoying our time together and all the really cool robots, um, this is starting to get a little bit samey versus happy, happy fun times. So, um, come on now. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. That's what I do to the cat. Come on. Why won't you do anything, Ada? Oh, fine. It's all right. I get it. I get that you're a bit clunky and a bit fat. Not fat, you're big boned. Holding block A. We're offloading another set of subjects. They've been transferred from civilian penitentiaries. So hold up. They are... They're using... Obviously, they're using people's brains for... Oh my god. Sorry, I'm just so... To... So, yeah, if you're going to build a robot using human brain, which is assumedly going to pull some of those existing neural uh, neural networks and stuff in, I, yeah, of, at what point is putting the brains of people who are, like, prisoners and the worst that society has to offer inside a killing machine? Like, at what point did they think, oh, that's a great idea. Like, nothing bad could happen. Yeah, I, I, that's not something that screams sensible to me. Oh, we'll just, yeah, put a load of brains from ex-cons in. Because, you know, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> they pull all of that influence and all of that knowledge that they have. How did they not go? It was a terrible idea. I just, having said that, I guess that um, way back when, like, it, it, in this universe, all that sort of like, what if stuff didn't happen? You know, we had the rise of all that, like, what if the AI goes mad, like the Matrix and iRobot and all of that stuff uh, in in line with things like the Millennium Bug and stuff like that. The Millennium Bug was one of the most hilariously disappointing moments of all time, in a way. God, feral ghouls, man. I don't really want to be checking the toilets, but I feel like... I don't, I might miss something. Oh, there's bobby pins there, but I don't give a shit about those. I would like to shoot you, just because... Preemptive. Preemptive, guys, you know? Everyone else is kind of locked in, but, um... 
There's no point in taking the risk with the open barred ones. Oops. I may have regretted that. But that's fine. You can deal with all of those. What the fuck? A legendary gangrenous feral ghoul. Fuck that shit right up. That's just wrong. That's just sick and wrong, that gangrenous thing. I don't want it. Ugh. Pretty sure also if I get bit by it, I'm in trouble. Get stuffed! Have you really been shut down by them? I mean, they're only ghouls, love. I expected more of you. Shame. Shame. Well. Oh. Nah. Nah, you're alright. Oh, hey. Worth it. Fucking worth it. There you go. I knew there'd be something in one of the cells. Uh, right. So there's this button here. Should we push it? Push it? Push it? What, what is push it mean? It's a very awkward, slightly Freudian slip there. Oh, hang on. Is this... Is this... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. I... Uh, uh, oh, God, there's a robot brain. A robo brain in there. I... I may have... Oh, shit me. I think we've come the wrong way. Ada, I'm scared. I don't want to go in the research labs. Brain extraction. It's that robo brain assembly of the incinerator are that way. Oh my god. Oh look, brains. But also oh, death claw scans. That's concerning. Are you okay? I I think it's a bit it's a bit close for you in here, isn't it? Sorry. Oh god, okay, so this is about their cerebral reconditioning, so this is like turning them on for the first time in their new robot body. That guy has panic. That one seems fine, but short-term memory's gone on that. If you put me back, don't put me back in my body, I'm going to kill you and then everyone else in this place. I mean, that's what, that's the kind of shit that this has resulted in. It's resulted in, like, superpowers to a really quite angry, possibly mentally unstable um, creature, I was going to say then. I mean, yeah, like mentally, potentially unstable anyway, dangerous for sure. And then also like the whole thing of like these brains are going to break down, like they're in whatever fluid they're in now, but we're because like if you just look at the human race it is currently we are using medication to live longer we're replacing parts of ourselves the one thing we can't replace is our brain and that's why we're seeing more and more cases of things like dementia because we still can't replicate that brain um so older people are dying more and more of not so much physical ailments but more mental ailments which is, it's really sad. It's really sad. Um, but it's just a part of how we've decided as a hum as the human race to try and keep living forever. So it's, oh God, it's all very, it's all very grim, isn't it? And this kind of does bring that, um, it's been a very grim week for like dementia and stuff like that because it was in heavy rain as well. So yeah, it's, a, it's always a subject that's quite hardcore. Someone said like, Disposing of people in the furnace felt wrong. Not a day later, someone else said, does it ever bother me? I told him it didn't. I'm not sure why people on the project have problems with what they're doing. Well, maybe because that's not quite what they signed up for. Maybe you did. Maybe maybe you did know from the start. Maybe you actually kind of secretly enjoy it. There's a brain there. I mean, there's brains fucking everywhere, but you know what I mean. Whoa, mama. That's concerning. I mean, hey, that's concerning too. Oh, cyber mech robo brain. I'm just gonna back up here and let you uh, let you tank the fuck out of it, because frankly, I'm quite happy to not deal with it. Okay, give me a sec, Ada. Ah, a password. The fuck is this? I mean, this is. Oh god, it's it's all gone very. It's all gone very dark. It's all gone very, like, rise against the machines and... 
all of that shit. Have they been manufacturing themselves from like all the brains? Have they been collecting new ones? I see you in the. Oh, no, you're not made yet. I was like, I see you in there! I'm not falling for your shit! I just want to go and see what's down here. Oh, this is the incinerator. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Please don't. I'm little. I don't want it! I don't want it! Fuck you! Fuck you! I don't want it! No! No, no, no! Jesus, Lord! Hang on, hang on. Let's just take a moment. Oh my god, this is totally not working. Oh no, actually, it might be alright. It's, it's, it's kind of a mixed bag. You can piss off, mate. Seriously. Fuck right off. I don't want any of it. Dude, do any of these... Can you open any of these? Fuck off, they're using stealth. They don't know what they're doing. They're over here hiding in a corner. Sorry, mate. Um... Uh, oh god. Oh no, no, no. No, no, there's one there. Fucking mechanist, man. Halt, Miss Clint. Me? I've just. Um. Me? You may have oh, hey! And destroy my robots, but your reign of terror ends here! Damn it. Hi. Sorry, I've kind of... There we go. Wait. My reign of terror? The Commonwealth has suffered more than its fair share of injustices because of you. Me? Now you'll face the full might of the mechanist. My righteous robots will end your tyranny once and for all. Oh. Come on, then. Bloody hell. Oh, yeah, I didn't really think this through. Oh, yes. Uh, hang on, what's coming up through there? It's a flying fucking thing. Oh, my days. He's making all the robots and they're all quite nasty. Where's, uh, oh, God, she's over there, yeah? Oh, no, shit, where is she? Bitch, have you abandoned me in here? Did she not come through the door? Am I slightly fucked now? Oh god. Please don't kill me, junk bot. What turret? She is. She's trapped on the other side of the door. Here. Ada. Ada, like. A Ada, Ada. Oh shit me. Ooh. Turret bot. What a ridiculous thing. Can you bugger off? Jeez. No, you won't. Just stop behind the door. Useless machine. What was the point of me specking you out when you just bugger off? Piss off. There we go. That was a nice explosion. Hello? Are you coming in? Who's this? But I think you failed to grasp the full reality of your situation. Uh, possibly. Although I'm now overburdened. This entire facility is at my command. For every robot you destroy, ten more will come. Struggle all you want. There is nothing you can do to stop me. Nothing. Warning. Power generation capacity exceeded. Owned. Now drawing reserve power. Sparks. I'll deal with you myself. Come, my robots. Destroy her. What? Shit. <laughs> Why? 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 It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's not a problem. Like, it's not. It's not like you know, half our half our weaponry has died. Oh shit! And there's a robot workbench. High powered magnet. Oh my days! What is that? I'm glad I'm not in that. Fuck! That would have ended me. Ow! Piss off. God, this is literally a boss fight, isn't it? It's a holdout. And then, if you're very lucky, something won't kill you. Fuel tanks? Fuck. Wow, that went down quick. Mate, you might actually be in trouble. Bring who in? Oh, God. Oh, dear God, who's this here? Jewel 
bot. Oh, chill bot. I fucking die. Oh, alien blaster pistol wins the game again, bitches. Warning. Critical power failure is imminent. Mate. Don't throw everything at me, please. Oh god. Literally throwing everything at me, aren't you? Like poor half made bots. Ow. 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 Oh, hello. God, big knife. Ow, ow. Is this 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 is really yeah, this electricity is causing me bother. Warning. Warning. Half failure in ten. Nine. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna hide. Eight. Go on then. Seven. Ow! <laughs> Fuck you, trash bot. Six. Stop dodging. Five. There we go. Yeah. This is kind of handy because if you guys come down here, you basically have to stand right next to me in order to hit me. Or like really obviously up there, which both work very nicely in my favour. Ow! Except for you. Oh shit! Everything died. All the robots died. Oh shit! This is a dark scourge. I will not rest until I see the Commonwealth free of you. Um, oh god, hello, hi. Uh, no, hear me out, seriously. I'm not a villain. I just want you to hear me out, face to face. Very well. I will hear you out. But wow. For the sake of the Sparks, with me. You change your mind really quickly. Like, super fast. Oh, hey! How are you doing? I can't really help you in there. You're gonna have to just hang out. Uh, no, no, uh, 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 uh. I, no. No, we almost had it, Ada. Oh, there it is. Hope you find what you're looking for. This is so cheating. Oh, and the alien gun saves the day. I'll be down with you in a minute, mate. I'm just uh, clearing up all your robots. Uh, oh, God. Hi, hello. Let's this. Amicably. Who are you? Who are you? Don't you think it's time you ditched that mask? You are. You are right. Is it old man Williams or whatever? All along. Oh, it's a woman. I'm... Isabel. Cruz. The mechanist was just an easy way for me to help the common... Really helped. But all my technical knowledge and all of these resources and I still failed. How does the Commonwealth have any hope against people like you? Fuck you, you're the enemy here. Hey, I'm not the enemy. I'm the one trying to protect the Commonwealth against your robots. They have taken innocent lives. Ah. My friends, they were simple traitors, all dead at the hands of your robots. That ghost data. Be right. Ah. Explain yourself. Uh, your robots misinterpreted orders. They're misinterpreting orders. Your own robo brain said as much. They're saving people by killing them. Saving by killing? No, it's. The logic, it's there. I can see it now. I was hoping it was the Robo Brains, an issue with their memory wipes. Uh -uh. Right. <sighs> their primary directive was flawed. Uh, now you know the truth. Now you know the truth. Your robots are dangerous. They had to be stopped. The hero unknowingly became the villain. I wanted to help the Commonwealth. And robots are all I know. I found this place and figured I could finally do my part. Well, great job with that. Except full responsibility. I can't take back what I've done or even atone for it. But this doesn't have to end in violence. You should come back to my settlement because that's where this is going. I'm not here to kill you. Only to get you and your robots to stand down. Done. Consider it done. Brilliant. And you won't regret this. I promise. None of the Commonwealth will. Here. Good. Take this. It's the password to the mainframe. You can use it to shut down the security protocols. I just... 
I'd rather this place be in your hands now. Yes. Okay, take control of the facility. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezing. Hey, Sparks. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, this is the problem. Again, their, their base primary directive was flawed because they were all, like, major criminals and also probably the programming was flawed in the first place, too just immediately gives you a horrible mixed bag or so. I think that weirdness then was because we're in a power suit. Cancel. Security alert. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Good. Let's go. Okay, good. There we go. Oh shit. Uh they're all they're all online. Hello. Hey there. Hey, just one more thing. If you have a minute. Yeah, sure. Sure. Go ahead. Oh, good. I just wanted to say I'm really happy, thankful that you let me stick around here. Here we go. Order to show you that I'm done with the past. I want you to have this as a sort of promise, I guess. It's what? the mechanist suit I made. Oh. Oh, well, thanks very much. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. There's one more thing. A much bigger thing. There are mm -hmm. robots out there. Lots of them. My Duh. My locations are down, and I can't call them back. But I can tell you where they are, if you're interested. Oh my god, she's like Preston. Fuck. <laughs> god damn it. Um, but... I think that's probably the main storyline done for now, isn't it? Right. Apart from the Preston thing. Um, yeah, so I think it was quite a cool little DLC. Obviously, there's these, there's these rogue robots to chase down, and I still need to have a little chat with Ada to finish the proper storyline. I don't know where she is, though, which is a small, small bother. <sighs> she could be anywhere. Oh, I forgot how like long that whole bit was with that quest. It took fucking ages. I, I I do I don't mind those sort of areas and clearing them out, but that was a huge facility. I probably would have preferred a few more little quests instead of such a giant one. I liked the end battle and stuff. Also, we've kind of lost Ada, which is a bit of a problem because I couldn't see her anywhere down there. So um, I'm going to travel back to uh, Sanctuary and hope that that fixes her otherwise we could be in with a bit of bother but yeah i'm not going to do that mechanist uh robot finding thing because it basically sounds like preston's i've got a settlement for you and i hate him with the passion of a thousand sons in fact i hate him more than that i hate him more than i could possibly put into words I there she is oh um, yeah she saw the truth i got her to see the truth She's standing down. So the mechanist really was misguided. Did she reveal her motives and reasoning? You were there! The robo-brains were responsible. It was their twisted logic that started all this. A biological wild card. The unknowns are vast. She had to know the risk she was taking by creating them. Many good people endured suffering and death because of the mechanist. It's a shame a mind as brilliant as hers allowed such atrocities to be committed. She's, she was just trying to help, dude. She's good at heart. She made a mistake. A big one. And she'll live with that guilt. I believe I have a certain understanding when it comes to guilt. While it's not the justice I had hoped for, it will suffice. Still, I now know that the death of my friends has brought about a safer commonwealth. Oh yeah, you wanted to kill her. ...remained unchecked. I'm certain that damage would have been extensive. Halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment. And I have you to thank for it. All robot mods are locked. Woo! Oh, and we leveled up. Amazing. Well, um, let's just quickly level up. Let's spec out CODs. And I think we'll call it a day there. I'm not sure about this, like, arena one, the other one. The Wasteland Warrior or whatever it's called. I might have just made that up. So, I guess the only thing that remains for me to do is to just spec up the old... Oh, hang on. Spec up the old CODs. Um, and then I guess I'm going to go off and kill some robots. Like the Preston stuff, which I'm not particularly... Dude, which I'm not particularly feeling. 
Um, so I'll probably do that off camera if indeed I do it at all. You are going to be absurd by the time I finish with you. Like, I'm not even going to manage to like properly spec him up because I probably won't have all the stuff to do it with, but I can at least show you guys a little bit of what it could be if people didn't drive in the way, madam. Oh yeah, let's give him some legs. Oh, they're lovely. They really suit you. So um, I'm gonna leave you guys here, uh, but this has been the Automatron DLC. Um, do go and get it if you're at all interested in robots that walk into walls. Uh, but yeah, it, it turning... How wonderful it to get out. It's returning Codsworth into something as ridiculous as this. Or making friendly robots like this. How cool is it? Um, I'm not too sure about the storyline thing. But I, I think, you know, as I said, some areas it was a bit too long. Like the grind and the, the wave on wave of mobs getting through it. But... And it was, it was kind of like basically the Institute story all over again, at least for me. I guess for some people it wouldn't be. Um, but I, I'm really loving the robot thing. And um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. And uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye on the other stuff. I'm not entirely sure about this arena stuff. I th the, the, the Wasteland Warrior or whatever it was called, you know, where you could catch a Deathclaw and make it fight things in a gladiatorial arena. It all sounds good. Uh, well and good, but uh, it sounds as well like it will need an awful lot of work, like turning your settlement into an amazing palace level of work. Either way, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you here. Bye, Ada. Uh, bye, Jezebel, who's just stuck here now. I don't think we can get rid of her. And uh, bye, Codsworth, who's already vanished. Codsworth? Eh, I don't know. Cool. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.